Hi, I'm Pauline Carey, and I'm a lead advanced nurse practitioner in GGNC's Flow Navigation Hub. Flow Navigation Hubs are just one of the key priority changes in NHS Scotland's wider redesign of urgent care programme. The strategic aim for this programme is right care, right place, right time, first time. They look to minimise the need to attend emergency departments and to bring an element of scheduling to unscheduled care. Instead of direct access to emergency departments or minor injury units for what is described as non-life-threatening conditions, help is firstly available through NHS 24, who conduct a detailed triage assessment and refer on to the hub. I conduct virtual consultations with patients who've been referred to the hub and make a clinical decision on whether the patient requires to be seen face-to-face -face or to be discharged from the hub. For example, I spoke recently with a patient who was having ongoing symptoms after a minor head injury. His symptoms were normal after a minor head injury and all that the patient needed was reassurance and a reminder of the not normal symptoms to monitor for. Flow navigation hubs are saving patients unnecessary attendances and potentially long waits at emergency departments and minor injury units by scheduling. This means that patients are seen not only at a time that suits the emergency department, but also the patient themselves. This has been particularly helpful during the current pandemic, allowing social distancing and demonstrating what can be achieved in an effort to keep people safe and show us alternative ways to access NHS services in addition to the traditional face-to-face -face care. I'm proud to be part of the development of the Flow Navigation Hub and to be instrumental in its rollout. And I'm also proud to be part of changing the face of unscheduled care in hopefully a very positive way. As with many others during this pandemic, COVID has meant being separated from family. In April of 2020, not long after entering into the first lockdown, my niece Anna was born. FaceTime has meant that I can see her and my sister regularly, but it's not the same as being with people and being able to hold them.